All right, guys, in this quick video, I wanted to go over a refeed day and why it's important for your fat loss success. If you've never heard of a refeed day, it's basically a plan day, and we'll get over we'll go over how to schedule it out in a little bit. But it's either a planned day or an unplanned day where you purposefully purposefully increase your calories from carbs by 400 to 600 calories or if you want to put that in grams it's about 100 to 150 grams of carbs extra carbs that you already have so the macros that you already calculated this is going to be 100 to 150 grams more than what uh, than what you already calculated from the carbs and for this day you won't be losing weight for this day you won't be in a caloric deficit for this day this is specific uh, specifically a refeed day where you increase your calories above maintenance on purpose here's why you should have a refeed day um, it's gonna get a little sciencey here just bear with me for like two minutes okay so so glycogen which is created from the carbs that we eat and water it's basically stored in your muscle tissue okay so it serves as an energy source for you so when we exercise we burn glycogen so when you lift you're burning a lot of glycogen when you're doing intense exercise when you're doing cardio when you're doing something that's intense or somewhat intense you're burning glycogen so the carbs that you eat produce glycogen when you exercise, you're using up that glycogen as energy to fuel those workouts. And then when you eat carbs again, you refill that glycogen. I hope that makes sense. So when you're cutting calories, you're obviously cutting carbs a little bit, right? You're not eating as much carbs as you would if you were just normally diet, not trying to diet down. So the amount of carbs you eat throughout the day when you're cutting calories does not refill your glycogen stores enough from the day before when you worked out or just in general. As a result of having depleted glycogen stores from not from cutting calories, your training performance decreases. And that's a bad thing. We don't want that to happen. So that's where uh, refeed days come in. And it's where you purposely increase carbs to refill those depleted glycogen stores that are, you had depleted glycogen stores because we're cutting. And that's why we have a refeed day. What are the benefits of a refeed day? So the psychological benefits. So a refeed day simply just makes dieting easier by allowing you a day of non-dieting. This isn't to be confused with a cheat day. A cheat day is where you would increase your calories, not just from carbs, you would increase it everywhere from fat for, and carbs. This is specifically, a refeed day is specifically where you increase just carbs you can increase a little bit of fat it's going to happen since you're increasing calories but it's not it's mostly like 90 percent of it should be from carbs this can help uh, so the another benefit is it can help reduce the mental stress of dying dieting from allowing you to take a break so the second thing is a motivation by knowing each week that you get to take a break helps you stay motivated to stay cutting calories for the days that aren't your reefy days or your breaks if that makes sense. So knowing that, okay, on Thursday, I get to have more calories. So today I'm not gonna eat more because I already know that I'm gonna be able to eat more the next day or whatever. So it helps you a little bit think about it that way in terms of dieting. Before I show you how to plan out your refeed day, here's what may and for most of you will happen after a refeed day. So. As described earlier, glycogen is partially made up of water, so therefore when you eat carbohydrates, your glycogen levels go up. Those are partially made of water, therefore you may weigh more the next day. And I don't want you guys to freak out. It's not fat, it's just the glycogen stores that you just replenished, and that's why you might gain weight the next day. Now, if you went overboard like, and you had a cheat day, like I told you that a reefy day is not, if you went overboard, had an excess of a thousand calories, then yes, some of it may be fat, but a reefy day is not that, it's just where you increase carbs. Either way, whether you cheat, which I do not recommend at all, just get back on track the next day, just keep just keep going at it. Your weight should go back to what it was before the reefy day after a day or two. So here's two way to two ways to plan out your reefy day. So number one, I, I prefer method number two, but let's go over number one first. So the number one is to plan it out ahead of time. 
This is uh, someone who plans out the refeed days would say something like this, like, hey, Thursdays are my refeed days. I can't go out tonight. If tonight was like Wednesday night, I can't go out to, with you guys because I already ate. I already my or my refi day is on Thursday for me personally this is a bit too strict however it can work if you plan out things in advance if you like to do that go for it I mean I've done it before and it works however I prefer method number two which is an unplanned refeed and it's still once a week but I like this version better because shit happens let's let's be let's be honest with ourselves social events happens the days where all your friends plan a last minute movie night uh, dave and buster's night or some some event that hey we're all gonna go out to eat or we're gonna go get drinks whatever those days are gonna happen right and the funny thing is these social events at least for me usually happen the day after my planned refeed so if i had a refeed day on thursday my friends would text me on friday saying hey we're all going out tonight let's go whatever and i couldn't go or if I did go, my whole week of dieting basically went out the window because I already had, that would be like two days of eating above my caloric deficit by a lot, which would offset the other days where I was low in calories. Therefore, I started doing unplanned refeeds. So whenever the night came where I went out with friends or family or whatever, I made that my refeed day. I hope that makes sense. So if... So throughout the week, I don't have a planned day. If something, if a social event happens or occurs or someone, if something unexpected happens where there requires like, or requires that we go out to eat or something, I'll just say, okay, this is my refeed day. It's an unplanned refeed day. I like this better. Choose whatever fits your lifestyle better. I like number two better. That's basically it for the refeed day. Below this video, I will show you how to calculate your refeed day calories. Again, this is very important. You want to do this once per week, and I will explain more at the bottom of this video.